In today's video, I'm going to show you how to embed a Google Map on your website and also why you should embed a Google Map on your website. And it starts now. Hi everyone, I'm Luke Durand, the founder of RankingAcademy.co.uk. Before we get started, why don't you subscribe and click on the alert notification so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you have created a Google listing for your business, you've probably noticed that when it gets displayed in Google search results, a map of where your business is located shows up in the panel to help visitors know where you are. Clicking on it will open a life-size Google map, which includes a red pin to pinpoint your location along with all your business-related details, such as how to get to you, how to get in touch, how reputable your business is, etc. While this is great, not everyone will discover your business through Google, and some visitors may land on your website directly from other sources, such as a Facebook post, a blog article, or else. If this is the case, they might feel they need to go to Google after landing on your site to find out where your business is located in relation to where they live. Wouldn't it be great if you could embed a Google map of your business directly on your website, just like this one, so visitors can make the decision of doing business with you on the spot without having to hop from your website back to Google Maps, meaning you may lose them in the process. Guess what? Not only you can easily do that, but there are four very good reasons why you should embed a Google Map on your website. Reason number one, it includes your exact location in the form of a red pin, along with your business address and your postcode, which gives visitors a very easy way to visualize where you are in relation to them. Reason number two, visitors will be able to check how trustworthy your business is since the number of Google reviews associated with your listing and your review rating is automatically included in the embedded map. Reason number three, there is an option to request driving direction to your business directly from the map, so visitors will not need to hop back to Google Maps to figure it out. Reason number four, the map may keep visitors lingering on your site a little bit longer and not bounce straight away, which can be a bad signal to Google. Although embedding a map on your website will not help your site rank higher, you can see it has some significant benefits. And since it's free and easy to do, why miss out on an extra opportunity to convert more visitors into customers? So let me show you how to embed a Google Map of your business on your website. Head over to Google Maps. In the search bar, search for your business. When your listing appears in the results, just click on it so the panel with all the business details is displayed. Click on the Share icon button. A pop-up window called Share will appear. Select the tab, embed a map. This will show your business map and will give you the option to copy a piece of HTML code, which you can paste directly into your web page. Before you do, you can choose the size of the map you'd like to embed. There are three predefined options, small, medium, or large. Toggling through each option will show you the real size of the map so you can anticipate how big you want it before copying the HTML code onto your page. There is a fourth option enabling you to customize the size you want, which is very practical if you want to fit it in a specific area of your web page. Once you're happy with the size of your map, simply click on the copy HTML code. A little pop-up at the bottom of the page will indicate it has been successfully copied to your clipboard. Now, all you need to do is drop this code onto a web page. Let me show you how to do this with an example of a website built on a WordPress platform using this test page, which currently only has a title and a few paragraphs of dummy copy. Going to the edit mode of my test page, I want to add my map under the first paragraph. As Google provides HTML code to integrate the map, what I need to do here is to add a block that supports custom HTML like so, and simply paste my code into the block. If I click on preview, it shows the embedded map on the page. Let's publish the page and check this out. And voila, this is great. However, I'm not happy with the size. I want the map to be aligned with the paragraphs. This is easily done. You can edit the size directly into the HTML code. Edit your page one more time and within the HTML code, you can see two values, width and height. These values are in pixels. You can increase or decrease them to customize your map size according to your needs. But since I want to align my map to the paragraphs, I'm going to use a percentage instead of pixels for the width. 
This means the map will always stretch and align with the column where the paragraphs are, but also on any device, desktop and mobile. Let's update and have a look. As you can see, the map is now perfectly aligned with the paragraphs and if I shrink the screen, it adapts to the size. So perfect for mobile or desktop. Top tips. If you are using a popular page builder such as Elementor, it's even easier to integrate Google Maps using the Google Map widget. No need to embed any code. Drag and drop the Google Maps widget on your page. Search for your business listing, which should be found automatically, and set the size and the zoom you desire. Very simple. If you are a Wix user, select the custom embed option and add the HTML code from your clipboard to it, then place your map wherever you want on your page. Last tip, an embedded Google map may slow down your page load a tiny bit. So try not to add it to a page that has already got a lot of content on it. One of the best pages to do this is your contact us page as it is the most likely page your visitors will check for more information if they want to reach out to you. I personally like to add it to the home page although it may not be the wisest choice but I am happy to compromise a little bit of speed for more quality of information. That's it for today. As you've seen, this is a very simple and easy exercise. So if you haven't embedded a Google map on your website, I suggest you do it today. In the meantime, if you have any questions, post them in the comments below. And until next time, happy marketing.